Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, I have a special friend. It is a Fulvitec LED light. I'm upgrading my lights in my studio. I've been making YouTube videos for a long time right now, and I wanted to invest in a better uh, lighting system. So I looked online at soft boxes, um, you know, fluorescent lights, and I found that most of the professional YouTubers out there in their studios, they will end up investing into LED lights. And Fulvitec is a company that is great. It offers reasonable prices. It isn't on the lower end, but it isn't also on the higher end. But I wanted something in the middle that has great quality and great light, and this is what it is. This right here, it comes with the barn doors and you can open this up and I put a diffuser on. A diffuser will just kind of soften the light. So here are all of the LED lights on this right here. This is a 1200 um, model um, and they, they offer uh, um, three different models. They have the 600, the 900, and the 1200. And I took the 1200 because I wanted the brightest light. Um, they also offer a bicolor light and a um, just a LED um, a daylight type of light, and that's what I got because I wanted the brightest one. I'm always, always going to be filming in my studio with this, so my lights will always be controlled. I won't be going out different places. So I wanted the um, brightest light I can use, so I can use this with a green screen. Okay, right now this light here is at 20%. This is at 30%. 5%. Um, so I'm just kind of testing out the green screen. Got my two lights right over here. They're hitting the wall. Um, so what do you think? So for the 1200 bulb, uh, two light set, it comes with stands. That's going to run you about $550 on Amazon. And when they shipped it to me, it was well protected. It came in a nice case right like this. The stands um, for these bigger lights, um, they will do if you know if if you just keep them in place. But I got kids kind of walking around, you know, running around, and I wanted a more protective stand, so I I have a super sturdy light stand that I attach this to, and I'm using the stands that uh, came with this for a different light. All right, here's my studio here, and uh, you can see I have quite a different uh, variety of different uh, lights. I have the, um, the, the newer uh, ring light over here. And these two lights right here are from Menards. Um, they put out a lot of light and um, they're right there. And I'm having that light up my green screen. Um, love this light right here, but I had to make a, a little bit of a modification. The light stand that this came with is right here. And I, in my opinion, it's, it's a little bit uh, small to support this gigantic light and so I got a beefier life light stand I also made a modification right here with the power pack um, I zip tied it to the side right here and um, Nice and sturdy so it won't fall down the reason is is that this uh, power cable right here from here to there um, will not touch the ground and I just wanted to eliminate any type of wear and tear on this plug right there. So um, I think it's holding up really well. When I had these in my studio at 100% it blinded me and I'll show some footage of that. Um, I had to crank this down but I I'm just like hey um, I was trying to decide should I get the 600 or the 1200, I want more power. I want more power, you know, if I go out and do something else, um, I want more power, more light uh, pushing through that light box. Um, you know, why not invest a little extra money and get the, you know, the bigger set. I did order a 900 um, LED light that will be a hair light. I know you're saying, you know, why does he need a hair light when he doesn't have any hair? But no, I ordered a hair light um, and that 900 one I'm going to uh, probably use, you know, when I'm going to different locations. And I also ordered that um, in the LED. I did not get the bicolor one. Um, just, I, I'd rather just shoot, you know, most of the time just daylight. Um, and, you know, I can adjust it in the camera, but I want, you know, I want maximum power. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on. 
There's a easy switch on the back here to turn on. And you can see that I have the setting at, right now it's at, this is the lowest setting it is, okay? So I'm just gonna turn that right around here. Kind of lights me up. So um, right now I can, I can kind of look at the LEDs. It's a low setting. I have my barn doors that I can adjust. So now I'm going to increase that setting to, let's just say, all the way to 100. This is 100. It's probably blinding the camera right now. And I, I, there's no way. I can't even, I don't even know if the camera is in focus. I can't even see right now. I don't even want to open my eyes. Um, it is like I'm looking at the sun, um, you know, right next to the sun. Super bright. But um, at 100%, I'm not feeling any heat at all. That's what I like about this. And when I'm putting my hand back here, it's not hot. A nice thing about this LED light does not use a lot of energy. So um, you can run like two or three of these on a power cord and you're not using a lot of energy. With the soft boxes, I've read in so many reviews that it you know, gets hot, the bulbs will get hot. Um, even if you're using LED uh, lights on some of those soft boxes. So um, why not, you know, if you're going to, you know, invest in your lighting equipment, go for these type of lights. I highly recommend it. Right now I have, um, to light up my studio, I have fluorescent. And um, I will take a, a video of that for you. And they have been great for my studio. I have fluorescent um two sets right there, and I have some fluorescent uh, light bulbs right there. I'm using T8 Daylight, and they have been working great for me, but one time I had to move, uh, do a, a, a shoot in another location, and just moving these, it's, it's um, kind of a chore. So this is great because they can fold up, and you can take them to all different places. I'm using this on my green screen, as you can see. Um, I love the power. I love how wide they are. So I'm super excited. I cannot wait until I get the soft boxes in. Um, and I'm going to do a lot of different shows on these lights because when I was out there, I had all kinds of questions on these types of lights. But um, love the studio. I called them. I even called them on their line. Talked to an operator. Great customer support. She she gave me all these different options. Then I called back again and said, "Well, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this. Is it you know is it hot? You know, how much light does it pump out?" She gave the extra time. You know, that was awesome that you can actually talk to somebody on customer support and they'll and they'll give you time and patience and walk you through what the best light is for your situation. So love this professional, um, sturdy. Um, but once again, two things I recommend. Better light stand, you know, if you got kids or you, you know, you get, you know, you might be a little cautious about this thing knocking over. Um, keep the barn doors closed when you're not using the light, just in case it does fall, it, it'll protect it. And put a, a strap on your power pack right here so it doesn't put too much um, uh, uh, pressure on the plug. So I love this. So um, stay tuned, please make, uh, stay tuned to my channel. Make sure you subscribe, leave some comments down below. Maybe you're using something different or if you have one of these, give me some uh, tips and tricks on it and different settings and stay tuned to the upcoming videos on this Fovatech light. It's, I'm super happy. Happier than a puppy that, with two tails. That's how happy I am. Hey, have a great day. Talk to you later. Adios, bye-bye.